Delaware Hofstra CAA semifinal. This is what I love about this time of year. I would never watch these two teams, but in March, everyone's in it. Welcome to the source. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Eli Pemberton reminded me he's looking like a an rj barrett slashing through the lane large strides i really like the way this kid plays pemberton and the rest of the hofstra offense extended out to an early lead they were hot especially from three uh, i think they got up to like eight or ten lead early and i thought it was going to be a blowout but delaware came back thanks to justin butts this guy can play hell of an athlete and um, they ended up, Delaware ended up tying the game back in the, in the first half. It's not that the Blue Hens necessarily played poorly. It's that Hofstra could not miss from deep. They started off 9 of 12 from 3, and they didn't really slow down. Let's check what it's at now. Right now it's at 12 of 23 from 3. There's still 50 seconds left. Game's about over, though. Hofstra's up 9. Delaware deserves a lot of credit. They played hard. Hofstra's just a stronger team, and they were hot from deep. It's really hard to beat a strong shooting team when they're hot, hence Villanova. Jalen Ray was 4 for 4 from 3. Outstanding shooting display. Delaware honestly had a, would have had a shot of winning this if Nate Darling got hot earlier. He was off. He started off 2, 11 from the, 2 of 11 from the field. Horrible. He actually uh, put some plays together and made a few baskets late. Uh, made a, a couple nice passes too, but it was too late. You, you got to think if Nate Darling was on early, that Delaware would have made this a game. But as it stands, Hofstra advances to the, CEA, the CAA championship game, which is tomorrow. The Pride will play the winner of Elon and Northeastern. That game's about to start, I believe, right now. Gotta love March Madness, baby.